This is a massive base with a lot of parts, and I wanted to kind of show this off on the Xbox. Again, we're on the Xbox. I didn't think it would run this good. Welcome back to the channel, everyone. Jason here with a Valheim video because it is now on Xbox One, Xbox Series X, whatever you want to do. I just, you know, I wanted to make sure to show you guys I'm loading from the Xbox dashboard. This is the Xbox version of the game. And guys, I wanted to do that because this game runs nearly as good as PC. I will say exactly like PC, but it's like if you had a a lower end PC, which is so freaking amazing. I can't believe that they didn't have to cut really very much, if anything, out of the game. There are a couple things like you cannot emote or anything like that, but guys, this is so good. So let me actually, before we get into the game, let me show you some things I would recommend for you to do in the game. So go to your settings in Xbox. There's not gonna be as many settings here. You can change all this stuff. It's really, really cool. I would say the first thing is, instead of using the console controls, you see how it has the controller layout console? Use your classic controls. These are the controls that are on PC. That way, everything kind of lines up. I feel like these ones run a little bit better than the uh, console specific ones. Whichever one feels good for you, but I would say try out the classic control scheme. I love this control scheme. The other thing I would say is go to over your graphics and this game is not like a major looker of a game. It like doesn't have the best graphics. And so I would always recommend head on over and do performance because you have quality mode and you have performance mode. Quality mode ups the graphics not really, really. You know, it, it ups it, you know, you get a little bit more light and a little bit more of uh, the ray tracing-esque. It's not really ray tracing, but kind of like ray tracing, but it caps the frame rate at 30 frames a second. For me, I like to play at 60 frames a second, so I go with performance. This is one of those games where you're really not gonna notice that much of a difference. There is a difference, don't get me wrong. There is a difference. However, you're not gonna notice that much of a difference in performance mode. You will notice, or in quality mode, you will notice the frame rate. That's why I'm gonna go with performance. And you can also turn on and off your bloom, sun shafts. I, always, I turn off my chromatic aberration and the depth of field. I don't like those on. Again, your choice, whatever you wanna do. And then now let's jump into a game. And I will tell you guys, not only can you just start up a new world and just run around in it, you can also, if you have a previous server, you could totally do that. Look at this. I can join a server that I used to be in, that I used to be a part of. But let me join in here. I'm going to show you a server and how that runs on the Xbox One or Series X. So I did sign in just like you would on a normal server. I've never been to this server before, you know, on this profile. This is a new character for my uh, Series X, my Xbox. But I mean, look at this. This is, I mean, we have all of the features of the PC release. We, you know, we went through, we went through the Mistlands, which is the latest update for the PC version. We have that. And let me show you what I mean by that. You literally have all access to the game. It runs beautifully. Look at this, this is the Xbox version. The only thing I will say is that I've seen a little bit of frame rate drops. When you get to a big, like, built area, like if you have an area that you've built up, like a lot, there's tons of pieces everywhere, the frame rate's gonna dip a little bit, like you'll see here, as it's loading in everything, because we've built this big base. But I mean, overall, this is a really, really good version of Valheim. It works wonderfully. So look at all those sunbeams, I love it. Yeah, this is, let's see, is there anyone here? I don't think there's anyone here. Oh, there is our market right there. So we have everything. And let me go to a base that has all of our advanced mist land stuff. So uh, just a he heads up. This is going to be a little bit spoilery if you have not played really a lot of uh, Valheim. If you are if you don't care about spoilers, that's fine. But there are going to be a little bit of spoilers for the end game as of right now. So this is Zane. Guys, you need to go check out Zane's World. I will link that down below in the description and the pinned comment. Go check out Zane. He's going to be making videos on how to build stuff. But look at this base. This is what Zane has built on this server. Look at this. This is a massive base with a lot of parts. And I wanted to kind of show this off on the Xbox. 
Again, we're on the Xbox. I didn't think it would run this good. 60 frames a second. You will notice some frame dips here and there. Like right there when it's loading in new items. So yeah, you'll see it gets a little bit framey when it's trying to load in so much stuff. But I mean, look at this. This is a massive, massive base. And it's, it's loading and working. Not flawlessly, not perfectly. But it is working really well. Way better than I thought it would. So, I mean, we have, look at, look, hot tubs, everything. It's content complete. Again, the only thing I've noticed so far is that there is no emotes. But there is chat, so if you want to actually chat, you can do it like this. But again, you literally have to use your, uh, if you have a keyboard and mouse, you could probably hook that up and, and use it that way. Actually, you know what? I need to try to, I'm going to try that. So let me hook up my, my keyboard and mouse and see if it actually works. The following day. So, sadly, guys, I tried to hook up a keyboard. Maybe I'm just not a smart enough guy to do it. But for whatever reason, there is no uh, keyboard, uh, well, not fully capable keyboard in there. So I have a keyboard set up on my uh, my Xbox. I've restarted the game, everything like that. So the only thing I think we can do is I'm typing this out with my keyboard. So you can use the keyboard and mouse. However, you can't use it to move around or anything like that. So if I try to, you know, if I exit out and I try to use my mouse and keyboard, nothing. I'm not moving at all. Even if I, like, disconnect my controller, I tried disconnecting the controller, everything like that, nothing. So, guys, the keyboard and mouse are not supported yet. Maybe. Or maybe they are and I just can't figure it out, but it's not easily supported. Anyway. We do have a lot of other stuff. Look at that. Boom. I'm learning new crafting stuff because I'm in an area I've never been in. So all this stuff is all from the Mistlands. Again, spoiler alert. We have marble here. We have black marble. We have our cooking stuff here. We have the advanced uh, forges right here. So the black forge. You can use it. You can get in here and use it as well. So if I wanted to, I can grab it. And I don't have any materials for it. However, I can get in here and start making stuff. So, in, so everything in the PC version is here, except for, you know, all the major content. That's what I'll say. Major content is shared across both. And if you guys didn't know, this is a PC server that we're in. We're literally, if you guys didn't see my uh, my streams on PC for the Bela's Rest, the Beeblebum, Zane's World, Golden Gek, we all played on this server for PC. We all played on PC and I just joined up on Xbox. No issues. I mean, you have to know your password and all that kind of stuff, but hey, there was no like I didn't have to jump through any extra hoops or anything like that. This is all on the main server. So uh, it doesn't matter if you're on PC or whatever. You can play with PC players as well on Xbox. So there's cross play between everybody. It is such a good version of the game. Guys, seriously, Valheim is on Game Pass right now. If you have Game Pass, there is no excuse not to at least try it. It's a free download as long as you have Game Pass. If you do not have Game Pass, it's going to cost you extra. But if you have Game Pass, totally free thing to download and grab. I know a lot of people say, well, it's not free. You pay for Game Pass. You know what I mean? It's a free addition, a free option once you've paid for Game Pass. You don't have to pay anything extra to play this game. It is so cool. It is such a good version of the game. Let me go see some other uh, bases that we have. So this is Zane's big base. I mean, this is a big... Look at this thing. This is a pretty big base. And so it's going to get a little frame ratey. You know, the frame rate's going to dip and dodge a little bit while you're doing that because it's a huge base. But in normal gameplay, like unless you're building these gigantic castles... You're not going to have any frame rate issues. So there we go. We have all this stuff in here. Someone's boat got destroyed, it looks like. But yeah, let's go see some other uh, bases while we're here. And again, I just started up this character today. So this is not a, a deep character or whatever. I just jumped to this uh, server just to see if it would actually work. It's crazy that it does. So, and everything... Feature complete, you know, the uh, major feature complete. <laughs> so you don't have to worry about the mistlands or anything like that. Yagaluth, you know, the planes, everything is here. You know, we have our uh, charting uh, table right here, cartography table. Let's go to the, uh, where's our main base? I got to look and see. We have all these portals to everywhere. 
Um, Gex base is really cool, guys. If you have not gone to Golden Gex channel, definitely check out Golden Gex. He does awesome No Man or not No Man's Sky content as well as Valheim as well. Look at this. Look at this base that Gek made. This is freaking amazing. So again, you're going to have a little bit of stutters, but look at this big base. Look at this. Beautiful. This is amazing and it runs perfectly well. Again, we're still on Xbox. We're still running around uh, on Xbox. This is not the PC version. I'm not trying to like convince you to get it on xbox and show you the pc version this is literally running on an xbox it just blows my mind i didn't think it would run this well got our sun rays look at that oh my god beautiful and if you want to let me show you the um graphics we'll go to we'll go to quality mode now this is going to be 30 frames a second that's a little bit now you might not be able to see it on youtube because i'm uploading the video at 60 frames a second but it should be a little bit more framey. Like it looks like it's in slow motion because it's at half the frame rate. Let's go through here. I didn't even know where we came from, you guys. Oh God, I don't know where we're going. Where are we going? Oh, perfect. Yeah, we went back to our main our main base. So we went to, oh, let's go to Beeble's house. A Beeble Bum. Guys, if you have not checked out the B side, this is Beeble Bum's second channel that he focuses only on well, he focuses mainly on the uh, Valheim content. Oh, God. Look, at actually, that's really buttery smooth frame rate. What is going on here? Did I not? It, may, it, might, not have, uh, a, it might not have actually saved, I guess. Because there we go. That is your, your 30 frames a second. I didn't save my settings. I was wondering why it was so buttery smooth. So, yeah, now this is uh, quality mode. So up the graphics. Can you tell? <laughs> you really can't tell. It's going to have better lighting, that kind of stuff. It'll be in 4K instead of at 1440p. So they lower the resolution for, for performance mode and they take away a little bit more of the lighting. But you really aren't going to tell that. Let's actually, you know what? Let's run around a little bit more in quality mode. So lower frame rate. There it is. Yeah, see? Look at this. Look at this base. This is crazy. And then it, it, it's all complete. Like, it's not like not loading in some sections. Let's go to performance. Load that. Boom. Up. Oh, there we go. Now we're buttery smooth. 60 frames a second. Loving it. Now, yeah, the lighting's going to be a little bit lower. And to be fair, the frame rate's not buttery smooth at 60 frames. It does get a little bit framey. But again, that's because we're in a big base with a whole bunch of stuff in here i mean there is a lot of, look at all this armors and stuff like that so it can handle it and it's not like you know in no man's sky sometimes the bases won't fully load in i know a lot of you guys are playing no man's sky you, you know what i mean when you look when you get to a base and it just doesn't load in everything it will but because it's loading everything in it kind of drops the frame rate a little bit let's go upstairs look at that beautiful beautiful sunrise yeah, a little bit of a bad frame rate. Yeah, there you go. Frame rate's dipping now. Now that we're outside. Yeah, look at that. It's such an amazing game, you guys. Seriously. No reason not to try it out if you have Xbox Game Pass. Now, you need you you need more than just the gold. And a lot of people were saying, well, I can't play it because it's not on gold. Gold is only like the bottom tier. That's only for multiplayer. You don't get any free games. I say free. You don't get any games that come with that version. You need a middle tier or Game Pass Ultimate in order to get, you know, free games, you know, free to, free games, quote unquote, with your subscription. But seriously, guys, give it a give it a try. This is almost nearly the PC version of the game. I love it. I wish that they would have some uh, keyboard and mouse uh, support. Maybe that's going to come in the future. Again, this is this is the uh, game preview. So it's not even the full game. It's not a full release. It's literally just the uh, the early access version of the game, the game preview. So guys, hopefully you guys liked the video. If you did, hit that like button. And I will see you guys next time.